Lala, you've rubbed a balloon on a, your sleeve or sweater or something mm -hmm. and, and stuck it to something, all right? Yeah. And it sticks? Yeah. Why does it stick? Because of static electricity. Yeah, well, that's... It's just my nose. Yeah, and be probably because of the static electricity, too. Oh. Yeah. Now, we ought to really ex find out a little more about what that means because kids say static electricity without really understanding it. Mm -hmm. What you're doing when you rub a balloon on your sweater, especially if it's wool, or a piece of fur, which is even better, you're rubbing electrons off of the fur or mm -hmm. the wool onto the balloon. Oh. And electrons means electricity. Yeah. Now, why is this called static? And why is it attracted <laughs> to your face? Because I'm beautiful. No, just kidding. <laughs> An attractive face? Yeah. Well, your face is attractive. Both ways. Both by the way it looks and by the fact that it attracts the balloon. Okay. But what does the word static mean first? Um, I don't know. Well, static, you know, here on the radio, it's a, it's a crackling sound. Yeah. But that's not the static we're talking about. Oh. This is, static means stationary. It doesn't okay. flow. So, it's electricity that doesn't go anywhere. Right, because this is a non-conductor, isn't it? Rubber? Yeah. use rubber for insulators and all that sort of thing, mm -hmm. covers of wires, so electricity won't flow on it. So you've rubbed extra electrons on the balloon, and they stay in that one piece, and that's why it's called static electricity. Now, why did it stick to your attractive face? We have extra mm -hmm. electrons on here. When you bring an electrically charged object near something that's not electrically charged... Maybe I have electrons on my face. You have electrons on your face, and you have positive charges as well. When you bring the negatively charged balloon near it, the, the negative charges in your face are repelled. And so that means that there's a slightly positive charge on your face. So that's why they stick. Oh. Okay. What'll happen mm -hmm. if we rub two balloons? They'll, you rub, they'll, they'll be repelled. They should be repelled. Okay, okay. rub that one. Makes a lot of noise. Okay, okay, now try that one. That's enough, that's enough, that's oh, enough. Okay. okay, now they're repelled for the same reason, right? Because right. the two electrons. What will happen if you bring the fur slowly near them? They'll be attracted to the fur. Mm -hmm, should be. Okay. Because it has less electrons and they have an excess even try it with your hand once okay. now, try it here try try letting them settle down like that and now slowly bring your hand between them this okay. way okay okay yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they actually they be attracted to, to your hand, yeah. yeah so now, just remember, any time we do some uh, static electricity tricks is because of extra electrons on something mm -hmm. and positive and negative charges someplace else, but pushing the positive charges away so that the negative charges can repel. Now, try this, rub it hard, and come on over here to the sink. You see, I have the, t the faucet dripping. Mm -hmm. I adjusted this so that there's a nice stream of water coming down here. Mm -hmm. Bring the comb over near the stream of water and watch what happens. It's attracted. Yes. It's I didn't think water had electrons and stuff. Well, it, they have negative and positive charges. Most things have a combination, but most people don't realize you can sort of push the negative charges away so that the positive charges would be attracted by a hard rubber comb rubbed on a piece of fur. Okay, let me turn off the water and go back over here. And now let's have some fun with a different kind. Put the, well, let me put the balloons down over here and bring up this. What are those? Well, these are styrofoam balls. You know the plastic cups that you, that you put hot stuff in? Mm -hmm. There's all little plastic balls all pushed together. Well, these are the plastic balls before you push them together. Oh. Rub the comb on the fur, okay. getting extra electrons where? On the comb. Okay, and bring them near the plastic balls. See what happens? Wow. So now you can see sort of where the static charges are. In fact, let's try that with a balloon. Here, take this balloon. Whoops. Take this balloon and don't rub it all over. Just rub it on one side. Okay, okay now bring it over near the styrofoam, styrofoam balls. Wow. Wow. Now turn it over too so you get it on the back side. Well, I never rubbed the back side. Okay, now you can see exactly where the static charge is, can't you? Yeah. So there's sort there's of like none little, here. Yeah, there's sort of like here. a little indicator of where the static charges are. Yeah. It's hard to get it off. Yeah, yeah because it's thick. <laughs> it's a lot of noise again. So. Now there's one more trick I'd like you to do. Come on over here. It takes a certain amount of athletic ability, which I think you probably have. 
Here's a wand, and here is a strip of plastic material. You put it here on the counter like that, and you rub it over here like this 10 times. What do you suppose you're doing? Charging it? Yes. What, what, when you say charging, what do you mean? Putting extra electrons into it. Okay. So I want you to rub it 10 times like this, then turn it over, rub it 10 times more on the other side, like that, then run this up and down 10 times. And what do you think you're doing with this? Um, putting electrons. Uh, extra, extra electrons on so this. So this is going to have extra electrons. That's yep. going to have electrons. And then if you pick this up like this, what should happen? It should float because it's going to be repelled. Repelled. Okay, good luck. Okay. Ten times on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. That's one side. Whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now hook the end in the end of that loop like that. Okay. And flip it up in the air and see if you can magically make it suspend. Ha-ha! Because of the magic of static electricity.